Thank you. I'm sure you're pleased with that. Tell me about the race. Um, yeah, it was good. It's like, it's still kind of early in our training cycle, so I wasn't really sure like what kind of fitness I was in. Just wanted to come in and race. Um, I was panicking a bit at the start, but that was about 2K to go. I was feeling pretty good about how I was feeling. So, yeah, just wanted to run for the win. What do you mean you're panicking at the start? Well, you know, you just don't really know, like, what kind of shape you're in. So, that's kind of like, that's all. <laughs> like, you mean, like, the first few minutes of the race, you're just really yeah, nervous? Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I struggle with anxiety, and so it's like, you know, it's all about, like, not getting in my own head too much. I think it's probably refreshing for the normal runner, just someone as good as yourself. You know, you have some of the same struggles everybody has. Right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've been struggling with anxiety for as long as I've been racing, so. I guess for everyone else out there who struggles with it, what's your best advice? Um, I think staying in the moment is really good, practicing mindfulness. Um, you know, not trying, especially in the longer races, not worrying about the last kilometer and the first kilometer. That type of thing. What's next? Um, I think I'm gonna try to do a 5K indoors in, on Friday at BU. Um, little little North American record attempt there. Um, but we'll see how I come off this race, how the body's feeling. Uh, I don't want to do anything that would jeopardize, like you know, my health, given I don't race on indoor tracks. So, what is the record? Uh, 14:48. Yep. So, I, I found it. <laughs> And will some of the other barrel women do it too? Or? Yeah, Police and Courtney are targeting the 5K. Lou will be in the 50 or the mile. Uh, I think Vanessa is doing a 3K. Um, and then, you know, Chris is coming back and Andrea is still at altitude. And any world indoors this year? Um, I think so. I wanted to see how these races go, but um, that felt that felt kind of that felt good. That felt fun. So um, yeah, I think it would be fun to do world indoors. In the 15 or the three? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably definitely the three, um, and maybe the 15. We'll see. We'll see. And your missions on the Bowerman women, like when you joined the group, I'm sure training with Shelby was like a an appealing factor of the group. Yeah. What do you think of her whole situation? It's really, it's a really tough situation. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just like wish her the best in like this next stage of life, and just hope that she's, you know, that she gets like the answers that she want, wants and needs. Um, and yeah, that she's able to make whatever next transition goes for her, you know, as soon as possible and as smoothly as possible. But yeah, it's like all kind of traumatizing and very upsetting. And you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly she ran a 403 1500 yesterday. Yeah, I mean. that's good. I mean, like, she's been, like, training by herself, and, um, you know, it's it's really tough. I think she's, like, she, her the appeal process for her is still ongoing, so she just wants that to be done before she kind of, like, I think makes the next, yeah, next I mean, transition. Either, either, it's just terrible. I mean, either she's a doper and lying, or it's the biggest travesty of all time, so it's... Yeah, it's very upsetting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, happy you she weren't, did a 403. You weren't really in the group with her much, were you, before? Um, I, I'd rather not talk about it yeah. too much more, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a really difficult situation, and for it, this kind of situation to happen in my first year with the group is extremely traumatizing, so, um, yeah, it's all been very difficult. And I didn't find out until like the same weekend as the rest of the world. So that was really, really, really hard <laughs> yeah, to find sure. out at such a late stage. And you know, it almost derailed my Olympics, but um, yeah. What do you mean by that? Just the trauma? Well, just like, the... Yeah, just it was a very upsetting, it was very upsetting news. I, I found out right after Florence and I was jet lagged and tired and Florence didn't go as well as I wanted to go for my confidence. Um, yeah, and it was just like, it's just, it was extremely, yeah, it was traumatizing for everybody. So do you so, wish like Jerry them had told you previously or? Um, I think he made the right call. I think uh, I it was going to be a lose-lose-lose situation either way. Because if I found out earlier that I would have been sitting with that news for the whole year. So they were hoping that it would get resolved and that they would find the source of, you know, the issue. And so, yeah, I, I think I think they made the right call, but it was definitely difficult. You mentioned the Olympics. How do you do last year as a whole? All right, it was good. Yeah, like uh, I had a um, sorry, I was coming off. You know, things things didn't end with my old coach and Young um, great, and so uh, that was like very upsetting. I relapsed with Graves' disease. 
um, and it uh, really affected me physically. Um, and I was just like really out of shape, really low confidence. And uh, it's very fun to see how this year things are going a lot more smoothly in like the ramp up with training and I'm feeling more strong and confident whereas I felt like last year I was starting, it felt like I was starting from zero. Obviously I wasn't but it felt like that and um, I'm like, I'm really proud of myself for how I did at the Olympics and um, I'm just hoping that we can continue to build from there. So yeah. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you yeah. all the time. Oh, thank Good you. Well. Thanks.